Hey, this is James with Lot Hill. This is the video that's going to show you how to hopefully set, set up your star printer. I don't sell this printer, so uh, like I mentioned, this is a little bit outside of what we do, but I have set these up in the past, so it should uh, should help you out a little bit. Um, and I don't have the printer here, so hopefully it'll allow me to install the printer and get the settings on the screen so you can at least see what to do. Uh, this is the driver that you sent over. We'll go ahead and get that installed here. Uh, this is Driverscape. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Star's website. So we'll just search for Star. Microsoft. Looks like uh, TSP seven hundred. Is that what you have? And you should see here it is the Star Micronics website. You always want to go to the vendor if you can instead of download web pages. So we'll do that. Download drivers, product, computer seat printer, ESP, that's probably a thermal. 700ii interface. I'm Assuming it's USB, let's see if you mention that in the ticket. Yeah. Operating system, it's going to be Windows. Okay, so once you get those settings in there, then you'll see the different drivers that are available. You're going to want this one for Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 7. So click that one and then you can do 32 or 64 32 you can install on either 64 or 32 bit so if you want to do that um, but if you have a 64 bit you can do that too looks like there's a light these are light and this one oh, pause, job, pause, maybe. so the light is going to be okay. So I'm going to do 64 bit because that's what my system is. I'm going to save it. I would send you these links, but it looks like it's going to go right to the, the search anyway. So. There's the driver. I'm going to open this up. Let's see. Uh, set up. Okay, so that's what we want. I'm going to extract this to my downloads folder. We're going to open it when it's done. I'm using Firefox, so you want to know what browser I'm using. Uh, all right, so go in here. We're going to run through the setup. So you want to run the setup. You don't want to run the other one. Do the setup. Yes. Next. I agree. Next. Typical. Uh, we don't want to launch the cloud services website and then install. Installing the print software. Uh, While this is doing that, I'm just going to check my printer here. So that finished. I'm just going to click finish on that. Uh, all right, so here we go. 
finish. That should be it. Let's minimize that for now. Uh, and we're going to go back to control panel. So you can right click the Windows start button, or if you're using normal Windows 7 or Windows 8, you can go to control panel through the start button just by left click and then control panel. Like, um, shut it up. So there's that. I'm going to go to devices and printers. Should show a list of all the printers that we have associated on this one. Okay, here's all the printers, and I don't have Star Chronic, so it's probably something that we need to run. Alright, so here's a Bluetooth. Printer utility star yeah. printer. So if you scroll down through all programs or you know through this list if you're using Windows 10, you're gonna see a star in here somewhere. Star star. star. Well, Micronics. Now you can do printer utility. I believe this is the one that we want. Yes, we want to run it. You can choose the printer you want, emulation. I would choose ESCPOS, click next. We're going to do USB. Um, let's see. Yeah. So no. Selected. Connect your printer, turn it on. Okay, so yeah, you're going to need to connect your printer, make sure it's there. Then um, you should be able to hit done and it should connect it. I'm going to do yes. parallel. Or actually, I'll do serial for now. Um, that way I can at least get this, this thing installed. So then I'll do none. Enter the name for the printer connection. That's what you're going to see under here. In the printers hit OK. And then. Settings. I don't have a printer. So I think that should be all you need to do. Um, you're going to do USB and just kind of go through the defaults. It, it should add the printer here, but by selecting the ESC POS, it should allow it to communicate properly with the software. Uh, you say I don't have that printer, I don't sell that printer, so I'm kind of shooting in the dark. But that's what I would do uh, on that screen and ask you to type select USB and then hit done and it should connect to the printer uh, it 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 should be good to go at that point uh, but if you have any other issues with it let me know and then we'll go ahead and i can log in and take a quick look but all i can do is just take a quick look because i don't i'm not knowledgeable about that printer um i have gotten it to work in the past uh, but you know, this, this particular printer, the 700 series, I haven't dealt with that one. I would assume it's the same as all the others, but um, by getting it to, to this point, it should show up under your printers, and then you should be able to select it when you go into Cache Footprint. I'll show you how that's done, at least. You'll log into Cache Footprint. All right, so go ahead, log in, go to the tools menu, then options, and on the receipt hardware tab, there's a receipt printer tab. You click add, and then you're going to see a screen looks like this. You should have your star printer listed. If you don't see it, then uh, 
the driver wasn't or the printer wasn't properly set up through Windows. Um, but you should see it listed here. If you see it, just select it, change the driver here to ESCPOS, and then hit test. It should work. And then for the cache drawer, same thing on the cache drawer tab. You'll do ESCPOS, select your printer, and then hit test drawer. And the drawer should be connected to the back of the receipt printer using a cable that looks like a phone cable. It's not a phone cable, but it looks like one. Uh, it's The wires are crossed over differently than a uh, phone cable. So give that a shot. Let me know. And if you have any questions, just reach out. I appreciate your patience, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.